Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia. If this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. All right, so it's fall. Oh, let's do an, let's do a round robin first, and then we'll get into the video. Okay, so my hair is a wig. It's a unit. It's probably my favorite one. Yes, I've already ordered a second one because the last time I like had the video out, you guys bought it and it was sold out. And so I was waiting for it to come back and it came back and I went ahead and bought another one because I love this wig. So I'll put the link in the description of the exact um, YouTube review that I did on this wig. Uh, of course, you guys know I make my own jewelry, Fearless Jewelry. I put that in the description box. Um, what else? Um, nothing special. This lippy is just a chestnut lip liner with the spice lip gloss they're both by mac i will put that in the description box um yeah i think that's it so let's get into the video all right so like i was saying fall has arrived in the south uh well kind of sorta like we're having weeks and i'm enjoying the weeks that it's like low 70s and then we'll jump up to the high 80s and i'm just like y'all what y'all doing <laughs> um so while it was in the low 70s i have taken the time to redo my closet i have added a bunch of boots and all the all the things um and so kind of just wanted to show you guys basically my fall jackets now my fall wardrobe is very i wouldn't say minimal but i don't have a lot of sweaters only because they're big they're bulky and i really like to buy pieces that i can wear um, for all four seasons. So I don't really invest a lot of money in sweaters. What I do invest a lot of money in are jackets. I love jackets. I'm obsessed with jackets. I love cardigans. I'm obsessed with cardigans. And then it's a way for me to still be able to wear my summer wardrobe in the wintertime. Take case in point, um, the outfit that I have on today. I have on just a simple white v-neck tee. And I'll show you guys when I try the jackets on. But it's a white v-neck tee and then some jeans. And so I like to be able to wear my white v-neck, but then also put a jacket on it to make it fall and winter vibes. So I'm giving you guys my seven fall jackets that you have to have in your closet for the fall and the winter. Um, so the way this video is going to work is I'm going to sit here or stand here and introduce the jacket to you guys and then i'll model it over here on this side so you guys can see it like i said i'm keeping my wardrobe for this video very simple because i want you guys to see how good the jacket looks with just a simple outfit i want you to see how elevated a jacket can give a simple look so i have seven with a couple of bonuses let me quit talking and get right into the video all right first things first is a faux leather jacket i have it in black some people wear it in different colors but i think a faux leather jacket has got to be a staple for any closet you can dress it up you can dress it down i got this one um from target if you can believe it and i got it in a small because sometimes jackets run a little um tight and i really i didn't want it oversized so i kind of wanted it fitted so you can can tell what gives me like a nice fitted look and like i said i will pop up a picture not a picture of a video of me like actually modeling it for you so you guys can see but yeah i love this one in particular i had another one that i got i got from belk but i don't remember the brand um and i liked it it was a lot more expensive than this one but i didn't think that the leather was as comfortable as this one is like this one I can move to me it's like when I turn on a jacket I always do the hug factor right and if I can't hug you and be comfortable then it's a problem right and so I always whenever I don't know if you guys do that but when you try on jackets if you can't if you can't hug me and it's not comfortable the jacket's too tight get another one or maybe the fit's just off but yeah I love this one they bring this around every single year from um target it's actually by a new day like it's called a new day that's the brand they bring it around every year so i'll link it for you guys like i said i love it it's got the um zips on the side yeah i'm a fan the only thing that i'm like icky is that it's silver and not gold but i haven't seen this in gold that i like like when people try to do the gold embellishments on the leather jacket it just looks too ugh. like i haven't been able to find I haven't been able to find one in my price range because I saw one, but it was like $500 and she, me, her, we're not paying that much money for a faux leather, faux as in like not real. All right, next up we have an oversized denim jacket. Um, I personally fell in love with this jacket. Target has one that's similar in the men's section um, and so I'll link that one, but this one is um, it's a little pricey. I got it about two years ago when it was 
on the clearance. I got it summertime. It is a free people. I got it at Belk. If you never shop at Belk, um, I hear a lot of people saying, hey, we don't have a Belk or I never find the things. I like shopping at Belk for brands um, because they stay, well, brands that I normally wouldn't shop at in store. For example, Free People. I've never been in a Free People store. I'm never going to go in a Free People store because I think it's just a little too expensive. However, Belk has a lot of Free People and those expensive brands that are always on sale. So what if I, I probably do weekly, which is probably a bad thing, but weekly I will go on to Belk.com put in free people or I'll put it in Steve Madden or I'll put in Sam Edelman, just some of the big brands that I like to kind of see what the sales are. And so no, you can do that. Now, I don't know if any other um, large department store does that. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm just biased because I used to work at Belk and I know that they always have sales on those things, but yeah. So I got this um, from Belk a couple years ago. It's really oversized, even though it's a medium, it's an oversized. And you guys know if you're familiar with free people, they do a lot of oversized with their jacket. So absolutely love this oversized denim jacket. It's nice. It's soft. It's comfortable. I kind of always wear it with the sleeves rolled up because for some reason I feel like I'm like on the farms of Montana if I wear it <laughs> rolled down. If you live in the South, it should be comfortable for you. But like I said before, if you're up north or in the mid Midwest, um, you are going to need a little bit more layers on top of this because I don't think this can go through. Like the Chicago wind would tear through this coat. But it's a great, cute, fashionable option that you can use to either layer on top or layer underneath. All right, so next up we have, I don't know what this is called. Um, I think it's called like the teddy bear or the teddy something the fuzzy <laughs> fuzzy jackets um so i got now here's the thing you i kind of went with both i wanted a fuzzy jacket and then i wanted a bright fuzzy jacket just because if you can't tell looking at the other jackets most of them are like neutral colors and so i wanted one that kind of gave me a little bit of pop and then of course i am a proud <laughs> alumni of the university of alabama and so when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. Um, so this one is actually from a brand called Bershka. I got it when I was overseas. I think me and husband were in Paris for New Year's. Um, but they do ship. So don't worry. Don't. Please don't. <laughs> they do ship. And then um, ASOS actually always also carries a brand as well. So this is, like I said, I think it's called a teddy coat. I love it. Guys, doesn't that just, does that not just elevate my outfit? Like, boring fabulous <laughs> so i absolutely love this coat like i said i got it in a medium because coats normally are just big oh god this jacket oh this is why i love fall like it just elevated <sighs> so much so like i said there's i don't think there's anything special about this jacket other than it being red and it's a pop of color i love the black um buttons that they have on it i also bought some gold buttons that i am going to switch it out just in case i want to see what it looks like if not i'll keep them in black i mean i've had the coat for like two years and i have yet to switch the buttons out so all right next up we have kind of like a nice sophisticated coat on those nights when you're dressing up for dinner but you don't want to look too casual by throwing on a casual coat i got this one and i got it in beige because i feel like you can legit wear beige with anything if you have on black if you have on brown beige is just beige just goes with anything or maybe this is even called camel so i know that when i wanted to get a chic sophisticated coat i wanted it to be camel because I wanted to go with everything. A lot of people get black and that's fine. Um, I just don't like the way black looks with certain browns. Um, I know black and brown is a thing, but not all black and browns are created equal. And I just didn't, some of the combinations didn't sit right with me. So I went with a camel looking coat. I actually looked up and found this coat at um, H&M. It was on the sales. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so right now, I think it's back at regular price, which is still a really good price for um, a coat. I don't know if they have this exact same one, but like I said, I will link similar ones. And so you can't see it now, but of course, you'll see it in the side by side video. This is a very chic. This is a very sophisticated coat. I love that it has the gold detail on here because I mean, of course, you guys can't tell. I'm very, I'm a gold person, so I love the gold detail. It hits at a length I'm comfortable with, like right at the knee or a little bit above the knee. It just gives the overall outfit a little bit more of a chicer look. Um, H&M coats run small. I mean, it run big. So I actually got this in a small. Um, I tried the medium. 
and I like the medium, but I kind of wanted this jacket to fit a little bit more fitted. I don't wear a lot or I don't have a lot of sweaters. And so a lot of the things under here would just be like either long sleeve or blouses or not anything bulky that would make this coat be too tight. Um, it's really comfortable. Hug factor is not a problem. I don't. All right, so we did the kind of like fancy look. Let's go back to being hella casual. So next up I have is a basic bomber, bomber jacket. Um, got this one from, I actually stole it from my husband, but I'm pretty sure he got it from H&M. It was one of those things. Um, because for some reason the men's selection in bomber jackets is a lot more variety, it has a lot more variety than the women's, especially when I went looking for a jacket. And so I didn't find anything. He found something and then he got it and it was a little too snug for him. So I was like, well, let me try it before you take it back. If it's me, so I got it. I was like, oh, I'll cash up you later. I didn't cash up you later. Anyway, I love this one. My color for the winter is a green. Like I love the color green, especially this deep olive green. For the winter, I actually just went online at Boohoo and got like seven different items and they're all green. I love this color green for the fall. So I like it. The only thing that I wish I would change is I wish the zippers were gold. But I mean, who's looking at that? <laughs> Other than that, I'm sure this is a men's small. Uh, I will make sure that I link a bunch of different bomber jackets from H&M. They do have this one available. But if you're not, you know, if you don't do the green trend, then that's fine. But I love this one. So I would wear this today if it was warm enough. It was not cool. If it was cool enough. It's cool yesterday. Now we're looking at like high 70s, so I clearly can't wear this today. But this would be my outfit for today. I would even throw on either some mules. You guys know I'm a sucker for a leopard for mules, and that does not change in the wintertime. Like the back of my feet is gonna have to be cold because I wear mules 365 days a year. <laughs> so I'll either throw on a pair of mules or a pair of cute combat boots, but this is definitely like my look, my vibe. All right, next to last, I have this jacket. I actually not, I didn't just buy this one, but I did a collaboration with um, Saks for their coat drive this year. And um, so I got to pick out a coat. And so I went with this one. Um, and you guys know that I normally don't follow the trends, right? I normally just pick what I like, but apparently the trend for this year are like a nice plaid coat. And so I was looking, I was like, oh, I really like that one. And I normally don't do blue, like, what have you guys seen me in blue besides blue jean? Never. But I saw this online and I picked it up and I love it. The only thing that I am going to change is I'm going to get it altered because I think it's just a little, just like two inches too long for me. But I love it. I actually have styled this one several different ways. So instead of me showing you guys a video, I will put up the four different outfits that I did for sex. Um, this is not sponsored by them. I've already done my sponsorship on Instagram, but just kind of wanted to show you guys the four completely different ways that I have styled this jacket before. I love it. Like a, it's oversized. I'm pretty sure I got a medium. I could have gotten a small. It is what it is. I like being able to wear it with like different things. All right. So the last jacket, and then I'm going to do one bonus item and then we'll end this already long video. So I wanted a statement coat. It's that coat where you're walking down the sidewalk and you see it and you like have to do a double take because you're just like, that's this coat. I actually got this coat from a boutique that is based in Nashville. I know that they were, um, they got really hit by the tornado and I don't know if they're back. I'm pretty sure they're online. If not, I will find um, a couple of different statement coats that I do like. But this one, this is not a thick coat, okay? This is legit just for the fashions, okay? Don't expect to go out on a, you know, blizzardy day in Ohio and expect to keep warm. You will not. You will be mad at me. Please don't be mad at me. This is definitely a statement coat. It even has, like, the belt to go with it. It adds a little oomph to my, to my wardrobe. You guys know that my wardrobe is very simple. It's very... It's very simple. So I just do, I don't do a lot of prints. I don't do a lot of patterns. And so this is kind of getting me out of my shell to do a little bit more than just the simplistic style that I have. So um, like for the bonus items. So I showed you guys seven essential fall jackets. 
Another way I like to layer without having to commit to a jacket is a cardigan. And not just any cardigan, a long cardigan. So I have three different ones. I'm actually going to pull my favorite and show it to you guys. You guys know I told you I like olive green. So I'm pulling this one out. This one actually came from Boohoo and it is in size pequeño, which is a small. Yeah, you see it. You see it. <sighs> Love this jacket. I mean, cardigan. Guys, do you see this? I don't know what these are called. These called, somebody said these are called bell sleeves. I don't know. I'll call them fearless sleeves, okay? Because they are such goodness. I love this. It hits the floor. No, well, not quite. Almost to the floor. But it gives me a little bit of dimension. as a little layering. It's extremely soft. It's extremely comfortable. Of course, I mean, do we have to do the huggable factor? Definitely going to do the huggable factor. They have this coat. Why do I keep saying coat? They have this cardigan in several different colors. And I may or may not have bought all of the different colors. <laughs> I will link this in the description box for you guys because this cardigan is just so much goodness. You have to have it in your closet. Even if you don't like green, they have it in gray. They have it in black. I think they have another funky color. I just bought it in gray and black. But you need this cardigan in your life. It is so much goodness. You can do so many different things with this. Have a sweater underneath because like a, the layers in here because the sleeves are really, really big. You can definitely put on a sweater. You can put on a hoodie. Just so much goodness that goes on with this cardigan. All right, so guys, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will make sure to put the link for all of the items that I have listed, whether it's the exact link or something similar as well as some jackets that I'm thinking about investing in, not investing, I'm thinking about buying um, this year. I like to do, I like to purchase one or two coats for the winter time just because I love, I love the way they add the little elevation to your outfit. So I will link all of them below and do anything very similar. If you have made it this far and you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Check out all my other videos. Um, also, while I have you here, please don't forget to vote. Please don't forget to vote, right? Please don't forget to vote. <laughs> I'm going to go, guys. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye.